another diagram is of dorsal root ganglion it is also surrounded by connective tissue capsule and you will draw it in this shape because it's in the slide it's like this so draw interrupted fibers of the capsule and this feature is common with the autonomic ganglion now in this type of ganglion the ganglion cell bodies they are in the form of groups in the peripheral zone especially now you will draw groups of ganglion cell bodies there is one group here and this there is here and here one group and these ganglion cell bodies they are surrounded by satellite cells so you will draw a layer of satellite cells around these neuron cell bodies and this feature is also common with that of the autonomic ganglion layer of satellite cells so you can draw these cell bodies and you can make satellite cell layer around it like this now each ganglion cell body has a central spherical nucleus now this is the difference here that ganglion cells in the dorsal root ganglion they have central spherical nucleus while in the autonomic ganglia uh, they were oval and eccentrically placed now again layer of satellite cells will have flat nuclei so you can fill it with the flat nuclei here now you can see there, there are groups of neuron cell bodies you can draw one here also you don't have to give color inside uh, the ganglion cell bodies because they are not very much apparent in the slide now this is these are the groups of neuron cell bodies which are present at the periphery of the uh, this uh, dorsal root ganglion now the portion which is the central one that does not have ganglion cell bodies or neuron cell bodies but it contains only nerve fibers so this means that the nerve cell bodies they are mostly peripherally present in the peripheral zone and in between these there are the nerve fibers i have already taught you to draw the transfer section of nerve fibers you will draw a circle in the center there is an axon and it's like this so you will just fill the space between the groups of neuron cell bodies with the nerve fibers cover it all down you you will draw them close to each other so all these are the nerve fibers in the center you will draw pink dots in the center please do not draw it with blue or purple color draw them with pink because these are supposed to be the axons of nerve fibers so in between these groups of neuron cell bodies there are nerve fibers and draw these nerve fibers close to each other do not leave spaces so You just come here. I, I am not making it too much neat, but you will draw them neat in your notebooks. So these are the groups of neuron cell bodies, and there's enough fiber. So put up these axons in all the. the fibers here a few nuclei in the capsule connective tissue capsule around this now we will label the diagram this is the connective tissue capsule this is the peripheral zone containing these groups of 
neuron cell bodies and this portion which is having only nerve fibers is is the medullary zone or central zone please put up these axons in all the nerve fibers because there are too many you have to complete whole of the diagram with the axons inside and you can now clearly see that these neuron cell bodies are in the form of groups and they are at the periphery while in the medullary zone there are only nerve fibers so what happens the preganglionic nerve fibers they enter the dorsal root ganglia but they just pass through it in through the medullary zone they do not uh, stay here in the peripheral zone or they, they do not uh, mix up with the peripheral zone they just pass through the medullary zone so you only see nerve fibers in the medullary zone you, you can draw in one two layers more here just to show the nerve fibers So that's all about the diagram of dorsal ganglia.